Okay, some of you have asked about the crystal batteries, and here I'm going to show you some. Um, these were run at the last convention. There'll be more at the next convention. Um, and uh, I just want to show you here that these have not been touched. So I want you to see this is absolutely solid. And there's no form of corrosion around here. And uh, I'm going to run this cable oscillator. Not the cable oscillator right at the moment, but the SG oscillator. So I'm just going to run this. Now this is an SG oscillator built from the patent. You can see the cabling and the circuit right there in the center. Okay, now if we parallel these, we're going to get twice the current. Watch the lights. See it? Okay, so now we'll run the cable oscillator. These are the uh, SG circuits done in a forced mode and there's three of them in series here okay now this is a cable oscillator so remember I said to everybody at the show there were two mixtures in here to keep the alum from growing and they were running and nothing has been growing since the show and you see no form of corrosion on the copper outside it's just dully from normal use now this has been in operation for two years and you can see that just from the water the uh, alum is stained but Chuck and I have found a solution that uh, makes it pretty stable okay now to get around the corrosion factor, we've decided to make a, a mixture that works using this lead acid battery. So what we've done is we've we've put in there. You want to measure that battery, Chuck, with a meter so they can say real quick. And this is the true voltage. This is all there is. But you figure this out. Okay, that's all the voltage you have. 3.417. Now, this is a high current 12 volt panel that we made. And this has never had sulfuric acid put in it. Right. So we've turned this lead acid battery into a crystal battery. Now, there's no oscillator running these panels, there's just Chuck's mixture in this battery and now we run the other oscillators because they're low voltage you know everybody can see that there's resistors in line with this it's made for 12 volts now this is going to be the cable oscillator pretty bright huh <laughs> okay and now let's go to the the other oscillator which takes more power yet because it's an SG circuit. You can see it's got a pretty huge coil. Yeah. And there you go. You can see it's drawing more power yet from this crystal source. So all we did is, do me a favor Chuck, spill this and put it on your hands. <laughs> So we're just making a crystal solution. There you go. There you go. No acid whatsoever. No burn. Nothing. Now, you've got some solution over here, right? And so what we've done is we've mixed up this solution that we talked about at the conference. So it's it's something we'll be talking about next year because we're going to leave these all the same. 
we never touch anything in here and it's just basically R&D okay so go ahead and put that in there There you go. And the reason for lead, everybody, is there's no corrosion factor and there's not going to be any sulfation because it's already sulfated. We're looking for, uh, we're looking at a unique way of, uh, building a crystal battery inside something that you can just buy. Of course it's expensive, $56 to do it, but anyway, so what we wanted to do was show you now, we'll just put the, uh, Chuck has added more to it. And we'll just let, just put the 12 volt source on it again. I guess we need some clips. Of course, at this point in time, Chuck and I are not ready to disclose what the mixture is, but it's non-acid period, and it is in nano-crystal form. And there you go. So, you didn't have any lights. Remember, this is a 12-volt panel. It's pretty bright. Make a nice garden light, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Out in the backyard, just parallel them all. Put a single LED on it so they can see, Chuck. That it's 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 not a dependent thing here. The crystal cell will do whatever it needs to do to conform to the load. There you go. Pretty bright. So we just wanted to share that with you and we'll be talking more about it on the, on the forum soon.